Hello there, it's Happy New Year to uh, most of you. It's the 3rd of January as I'm recording this in Australia, uh, near to Brisbane. So I, oh, I always start the year looking forward as to the places I think you should be considering, the certifications. Um, some years there's big changes and some years um, just some tweaks. And this year I've made a few tweaks to last year's videos because... Uh, I think things have changed, but um, the pace has, has slowed down slightly. So I'm going to run through just um, the, the certifications I think you should con consider. I've also added a, a new slide. I just want to make it clear. Right. This is just my opinion. So tailored to your own circumstances, you might be interested in IT security. So some of the things I suggest may not work for you. And uh, others of you could be more interested in project management or even IT sales, whatever it may be, or technical sales. So you've got to tweak it to suit your circumstances. And the other thing is, if you have a look now, there could be maybe 200 plus IT certifications, many I've never heard of. And each vendor, um, for example, Hewlett Packard, has probably got their own certifications that may or may not be um, worth it uh, for you. So um, don't get angry at me, just tweak it, ignore it. If it doesn't work, honestly, I don't mind. And um, yeah, you do what's best for you. So the other thing is choose something you enjoy. I say that because I made a mistake. I, I, did, a, I did a list and I basically searched the highest paying certifications and started pursuing these. It was more than 10 years ago. And what I found was I was studying for stuff I didn't really enjoy very much and it was a real chore to study so choose something obviously that pays well but also that you enjoy so if you enjoy uh, security and you find out coding for example pays more then you've got to have you've got to work out what's best and do something you really enjoy every day and could work from home or do something you enjoy uh, less so we'll start off at number one, uh, the thing I think you should all be doing, this is the Cisco CCNA. Now I'm really biased because I love this certification. I think it covers so many things that you need to know. Even if you're going to be a programmer or a security expert or um, almost any job in IT really, even an IT manager, non-technical, you still need to know uh, how TCP IP works, like how packets travel in the network, wireless, wireless access points, um, and security. Uh, virtualization is affecting all of us. IPv6 adoption is absolutely skyrocketing as IPv4 is being depreciated. Obviously, routing and switching, so layer uh, 2 and layer 3 and higher on the OSI model. Security affects all of us. You need to do your part, even if you're working on a help desk, knowing what to click on, what not to click on, and how to notify people about possible uh, vulnerabilities. And automa automa automation and programmability, if I can get my words out, is also going to affect all of us, no matter what you do in IT. So look at the Cisco CCNA. The other thing I mentioned is if you haven't done the CompTIA Network Plus, you really need to start there because this is the foundation to all of your career choices. So Network Plus. Uh, don't worry, because if you want to do the CCNA, the Network Plus is around 30 to 35% of the syllabus. So you're already covering stuff you'll need to know. So please put this near, near or at the top of your list. Number two. Uh, Linux. So it used to be back in the day, you'd have a um, you'd you'd have the uh, Windows person, uh, the Linux team, and the uh, the Apple's or the Mac teams all split up. Now, and you'll see this in the certification, such as the Network Plus, you need to know definitely um, some Windows, almost certainly some Linux, Mac may be less important just depends on where you work in but vast majority of organizations run Linux the entire internet runs on Linux there's also a huge shortage because it's a bit harder this uses a graphical user interface obviously this it has a GUI but you're more if you're administrator you're going to um, use the CLI the command line interface 
So what I recommend you do, I'll just see what other um, things are here. Yeah, there's exams from complete beginners. So if you're a complete beginner, look at the LPI Linux Essentials it's, uh, on their website. You can then become a junior administrator and on howtonetwork.com we've added LPIC2. So this is the more advanced administrator and then we're currently writing the LPIC3 uh, for a security expert. So as I speak, we're, we're making the presentations and labs for that. But you seriously must know at least some. So do, the, do at least do the basic. Oh, and it's free to use. You can download it and put it in a virtual machine. All right. And take exams online. Uh, you must have if you want to do DevOps or security, by the way. So if you want to do security, you must learn Linux. There's no there's no way around that. I don't have time to go into why. So uh, the next thing is still security. Um, so this is your kind of foundations, um, your 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 network plus and your security plus. Now, Microsoft does have the MT, MTA exams, but these are going to be expiring in um, 2022. Now you are qualified for life if you pass them, but um, probably more worth taking the Network Plus and Security Plus um, to give you a foundational knowledge for your IT career. It's only a few months out of a career that you're going to be spending maybe 30, 40 more years. So foundation exams, big door opener as well. Don't worry if you don't have experience, at least you've got your Security Plus and if you do some labs, to pass your exam then you'll have the um, some experience any government role or contractor that works through or for the government must have CompTIA and it covers all the latest industry uh, requirements and protocols and um, procedures what's next oh yeah the pen test plus so again if you want to be in security you do the uh, sec plus first sorry the network the network plus first the sec plus and then the penetration testing um, plus, then you can easily um, work in a um, network security team, offer penetration testing services as a freelancer or in part time. We cover all of the tools if you come through our course and we've got a bunch of hands on labs that you can follow along. This closes, it helps you close network vulnerabilities, you provide recommendations and reports to um, business owners, close down wireless holes test the network for any problems or resiliency uh, you do some hands-on and some management stuff so there we go uh, in at number five certified ethical hacker and again this is for people that are interested in security if you want to be a network administrator then you could do it obviously but you you wouldn't need it so this is closely related to the um, pen test plus so you'd be covering a lot of overlap in these two. So Certified Ethical Hacker is very much hands-on. You learn to use a lot of the latest hacking tools, protect your wired network, wireless and cloud. You can reverse engineer malware attacks as well, which is really handy. Very practical exam. There's a there's actually two, ex two different exams you can do, and we uh, cover both on howtonetwork.com. I've already mentioned that. So we're rocketing through here at number six, Cisco Cyber Ops Associates. I've added since last year the ISC2, ISC the SSCP. So this is the baby exam for the CISSP, but you need five years or more experience. This, you don't need experience. You can become an associate as you get experience and have this certification. And there's a whole bunch of overlap between these two. So I always say, if this covers 75% or more of this, then it's a no-brainer really to get the two certifications. Security monitoring and policies is not hands-on. Uh, procedures, you do learn to lock down Windows and Linux. Network packets and traffic, which is why you need your Network Plus first. Uh, security policies and procedures. So that's all I've got to say about that one. Uh, number seven. Right, DevNet. So this is the huge sweeping change that's going through all IT certifications. And um, Cisco have completely rewritten all of theirs. And um, CompTIA's new Network Plus has got a lot of uh, 
DevOps in there, so you must know it. So this is the future. It's actually here now, but I still, I still say it's the future of networking. This is moving configuration tasks to uh, from humans to software. So beforehand, you'd have to do all of the command line interface, decide where the packet goes, configure procedures. So if this happens, that happens. Now you do the um, you configure the software and the software takes care of all of the decision making for you of where the traffic flows. You just decide what from a business side of view you want to happen to your network and the software takes care of the rest. So you learn some um, APIs, application programming interfaces, Python scripting, networking. You learn a bit about JSON, application development, automation tools. This is all really important and it'll be covered in uh, a lot of your interviews for jobs. It will also future proof, fruit, future proof oh dear, your career. So uh, really important to learn. And this is a great place to start. There's not many DevNet certifications, but the Cisco DevNet Associate is really good. Um, obviously, we've got that on howtonetwork.com and we've added a load of labs which are optional, but we recommend you follow along or at least watch them. So that was done by a Cisco CCIE in uh, Dev, DevOps. Python. So this is kind of new. I've taken off the Microsoft MTA because it's going to expire. Not yet. And I've added this. So this is the Python Institute. So you can Google these people. Uh, we've got the exams as well. We've got the entry level um, Python programmer. A uh, great fun. And you can download the software you need for free and follow along. And we've also got the associate. Depending on how these go, there's two exams you'll need um, to become a professional. If you pass all of these exams, you actually become a certified Python expert so we're looking into it but not yet but start here and then um, consider going here next Python's easy to learn simple to use free to download and use uh, it's used uh, you'll be using it every day although you may not know it for scripting soft, uh, software and web development okay penultimate um, come to your project plus so no matter what you do in your company, you will want to, I highly recommend, volunteer to um, work on some small projects and then you'll move up to medium sized projects. What you could be, if you've got tech plus PM, is you're the technical project manager, which is a brilliant uh, place to be. Um, obviously pays more, you've got more responsibility, but you also get to work on projects from beginning, plan, planning, execution and then completion. So I recommend you do some project management. There is the, I think it's the PMP, the Project Management Institute as the PMP. I don't know much about that to be honest, but CompTIA does have the Project Plus, which is entry level. So you work with managers and then you get to meet different equipment vendors and they normally pitch you their solutions. So that's great fun. Stakeholders, budget, suppliers, documentation, communication, the whole bunch is there. All right. And last but not least is the uh, uh, cloud. You've actually got um, Microsoft, Google, Cloud um, and uh, Amazon. So I think Amazon are just slightly in the lead, but there isn't much in these three. And they all offer uh, the foundation and then intermediate going into experts. And experts will be in um, coding, um, system administrator uh, and security. So decide what you, what you want, but they all start with these um, basic certifications. So have a look at that. Excuse me. Well, I'll have a drink. Not used to talking so much. Check these out. Um, I recommend you always start off with the baby certifications because they're easy to learn. You get a skill and you get a certification and you get to find out whether or not you like it, which I was mentioned at the beginning. So uh, Azure is used by 95% of Fortune 500, so that gives you more chance of being employed, obviously. 
this changes all the time you can do a tour of the Microsoft cloud website and the same for Google and Amazon look at all their different features and functions um, you can get free trials of, uh, for 30 days when you log in as well um, so check out the Azure foundation exam it's non-technical you just need to know all of the different services and offerings all right so um, that's all I've got to say if you've got a different idea you know, please drop a comment I'm also always sending out um, videos with courses exams career advice so if you've got this far please subscribe it really helps and there's a little um, little bell there that's supposed to be a picture of a bell sorry I don't know what I'm doing so um, there's a bell if you click on that you'll get notified of all our videos when they're up um, give us a thumbs up and um, you know I hope you have a great 2022 it's a great time to be in IT um, it's really an um, exciting career to be in and it's given me a, a great life and I still enjoy it today so um, thanks for listening and I'll see you on the next video